Hey guys, Brian here, and check out that view we have today. I am deep in the Bosque del Oso Wildlife Preserve here in Southern Colorado. We're out doing some wildlife photography this weekend, and there's a ton of different wildlife in this area. There's deer, elk, coyote, wild turkey, eagles, all kinds of different birds, the occasional moose that comes through here, bobcat and mountain lion have both been sighted in here. And of course, what I'm here looking for this weekend, the bears. As you guys may know, Colorado is well known for our black bear population. There's a huge number of black bears in our state. And in this particular area, this wildlife preserve I'm in, is one of the most prolific areas for bears in the state. So I came down here hoping to photograph some bears. It is early spring right now. This area is fairly low in elevation, so we're already snow free here. And I'm hoping Maybe we could see some cubs. An adult with cubs would be awesome. Get some great photos. But the real reason I'm down here, we're well known for our black bears in this state, but there's long been rumors that we still have grizzly bear in Colorado. Now to give you guys a quick history lesson on grizzly bear in Colorado, they are native here and they were very common here throughout the 19th century. Early in 20th century, they began to be hunted to extinction the last one being killed in 1954, and they were declared extinct in Colorado in 1957. That was until 1976, when a guide, a hunting guide named Ed Wiseman, was leading a client through the southern San Juans, which is about 100 miles west of where I'm at, and he stumbled across a female sow grizzly bear. Now he was bow hunting for elk at the time, so he didn't have any firearms on him and this grizzly bear charged and attacked him. It mauled him, knocked him to the ground, and while he was on the ground, the arrows out of his quiver fell out and splayed all over the ground. While this bear was mauling him at one point, it knocked him, rolled him over, and he landed right next to an arrow. This guy picked it up and with his bare hands stabbed a grizzly bear in the neck with an arrow and killed it. One of the most incredible stories I've ever heard. It's an absolutely a true story. The guy, Ed Wiseman, is still alive today. He survived. Not only did he survive the grizzly attack, he then had to call for help. He was alone at the time, call for help, get his client that was with him that heard the attack to come over. The client then had to put him in a safer spot, build a fire around him to keep him warm because it was late October. He spent nine hours in below freezing temperatures laying out there with severe wounds from a grizzly attack before they were able to get him some help, got him back to the hospital and he survived. An incredible story, not just for his survival, but also the fact that he found a grizzly bear in Colorado. They had been extinct for 20 years and he stumbles across a large old female that mauls him. Now he did kill her, and officially, that's the last grizzly bear seen in Colorado. There was a big study to try and find more bears, and they came up empty. They found lots of sign of grizzly bear, but couldn't find any bears. So a couple years later, they were redeclared extinct in Colorado. But it's pretty common knowledge that they were still here well after that. Uh, this female that he killed had there were signs that she had nursed fairly recently within the last few years. So she had offspring fairly recently to before she was killed. So there was at least another male and a few of her offspring running around in the Southern San Juan mountains. And likely there was a population, a survivable population at that time that just weren't discovered by the researchers. And the stories of grizzly bear sightings have continued ever since. Now, obviously it's 2020 now, it's we're almost 50 years on from this. But there's been several credible sightings throughout the years, and there's a whole lot of anecdotal evidence that say we still have grizzly bears in southern Colorado. In 1995, there was an extremely credible sighting of a large male grizzly that charged a bluff charge to hiker. In 2001, there was a report from some hunters that Colorado Fish and Game found credible enough. They actually went out and investigated it to try and find the bear. And in 2018, maybe 2017, fall of 2017, uh, a hunter named Adam Greentree, he's a fairly uh, well-known hunter, 
was hunting the southern San Juan Mountains and captured what appeared to be a female grizzly bear with two cubs in Colorado. He posted the video on Instagram. If you Google it, you can look it up and see. Tons of evidence say that we still have grizzly bears. Even a family friend of mine, a guy that I know, was elk hunting on Raton Pass, which is about 50 miles east of where I'm at. And he and his friends that were hunting came across an enormous set of bear prints in the ground, way bigger than they're used to seeing. These guys spent a lot of time in the woods and they said these were huge bear prints. Later that afternoon, they ran into a ranger, a forest ranger on horseback and they told him about the bear prints. And the ranger told them, yeah, you guys should be careful because all of the locals know we still have brown bear, grizzly bear in these woods. Uh, you know, to hear that from a forest ranger is pretty enticing evidence that we still have grizzly bear here. So all of this is to say I am convinced we have grizzly bear in Colorado and this area, this wildlife preserve, is one where rumors persistently come out that there's grizzly bear in this forest. Now the rumor goes that the forest rangers in this area know full well that there's a sustainable population of grizzlies, a small population, but they do live here. And they have kept it quiet because if grizzly bears were rediscovered in Colorado, they would be an endangered species. And an endangered species falls under federal protection. So this entire state wildlife preserve would become a federally controlled area. They would lose control of the area. They would all be out of their jobs here. So that's always been the rumor is there's grizzly bears in this forest. And they're just kept not they're just not publicly talked about because they don't want the feds to come in and take over control of this area. Whether or not any of this is true, who's to say? But I've come out to the Bosque del Oso Forest, which interestingly enough translates literally to Forest of the Bear. I've come out here to hike around for the weekend, do some photography, hopefully, I hope, find a bear to shoot, and I'm also going to set up some camera traps that we're going to leave for a couple weeks and hope maybe those get us some bear sightings. So let's go hike around and see if we can find anything. Well, I've hiked several miles now, and while we haven't seen any sign of bear, we have had really good luck with wildlife in general today, especially considering we didn't get started hiking today until about one o'clock, usually midday. You don't see much wildlife. The animals tend to be bed down, it gets a little hotter, but it's still early in the year and it's fairly mild today, even with the beautiful sun and partly blue skies. So we did see a whole herd of 40 to 50 elk, absolutely beautiful herd. We were able to get really close and get some beautiful shots of a deer, as well as several species of birds so far today. And we've seen track for all kinds of wildlife. Coyote, scat, lots of lots of elk print, deer print, just tons of stuff. But nothing on the bears yet. No bear print and obviously no bear sightings. So I am going to come back out tomorrow morning early, try and get here maybe an hour before sunrise and get deep into the forest before the animals start moving around. Well, I just finished setting up camp. I got some dinner cooking and a nice fire going. It is a beautiful night. Absolutely feels so good to be out here in the wild. And we had such good luck with animals today. There is so much wildlife down in this part of the state. I cannot believe how many things we saw. Now I didn't have any luck with the bears, but I really wasn't expecting to see any bears considering I didn't start hiking until two o'clock this afternoon when I got down here. Just from two to five o'clock hiking and driving around, I saw over a hundred deer, a big herd, 50 elk, turkeys, blue herons, vultures, a coyote, so much stuff. It was amazing to see this much wildlife. So I cannot wait to get back out tomorrow. We're going to start early, well before sunrise, get deep into the wildlife preserve before the sun comes up and really have a chance to see some animals. Let's check out some of those pictures from today. I had a great time 
I'm gonna hit the sack here soon and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Let's go find this bear. Good morning everybody. It is a gorgeous morning here. We're out hiking in the Bosque del Oso forest again and I have made a friend. This little guy is a fence lizard. We see these all over these mountains in Colorado. They're super cool. Really unique little lizards. I really like them because, come here buddy, they've got this beautiful blue markings on the sides of their bellies. And these guys are actually quite docile. They're easy to catch. He's out sunning himself this morning. It's nice and warm out now. And once you get a hold of these guys, they generally just kind of sit here. They're not too flighty. So they're a really neat species to be able to spend some time with and get a good look at. Oh, there he goes. Right as I say that, of course, he runs off. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Go find some bugs. Anyways, I'm going to keep hiking now. We're going to go set some camera traps this morning. We're going to leave them for a couple weeks and see what kind of pictures we get of the wildlife. So we've hiked much deeper into the forest now. It's getting into the late afternoon and there's sign of predator everywhere. I haven't seen nearly as much wildlife today as yesterday, but I think that's because it's much warmer today than it was yesterday. But check this out. That is a big spinal cord from a big mature elk that was killed here some time ago. There's a whole skeleton scattered around this area. And uh, it's obviously fairly old. The bones are completely cleaned and bleached, probably last year at least. But there's a lot of sign of predator activity around here. Number of carcasses and skeletons we've come across. Now we just gotta find those predators. As we move further up the Apache drainage and Apache Canyon here, we come across <clears throat> our first real bear sign. That right there is a big pile of bear poop. So I just came across this fallen log. Check this out. It has all of these claw marks on it. Now these are definitely bear claw marks. You can see them all over in here. Claw marks where this tree has been all chewed up. The ground underneath is all chewed up. All over there, a bear's been clawing at this tree. Very active bear site right here. I'm gonna look around and see if there's any tufts of hair or anything. A lot of times the bears will rub themselves up against these trees and they'll lose hair. We'll see if there's any hair or anything around here. And I'm also gonna put a camera trap right here in between these two logs in case anybody comes back, starts scratching at this tree. Maybe we'll get lucky. There's only one way to find out. Well, I just set my last camera trap. It's about 200 yards that way on that tree that's got those bear claws all over it. It's so cool to see that. But then on my way back down, I came through this little canyon instead of the trail up above, and I came across this water hole. It's actually a spring that comes out of the ground right here. It just bubbles right up out of the ground and it goes for about 20 feet. There's a little watering hole right here and then it disappears back into the ground. It's the only water I've seen on this entire hike. So I'm guessing a lot of animals come here to drink. Unfortunately I was out of camera traps and I really want to keep one at the bear claw tree up there. So I actually hiked back down to my last camera trap left my pack there so I could run back up here, set my trap up. I had to rig up a stick on a, tied to a log, a log tied to a rock right there because there's no tree to put the camera on right here. But that's where I'm gonna leave it. I really feel good about this spot. We're definitely gonna get some cool animal footage off of this watering hole. I am gonna go ahead and hike back down and get back to the car. We got about four miles to go.
Well, that's gonna do it for me this weekend in the Bosque del Oso Forest. It's been amazing. Unfortunately, I've gotta head back to the real world now and go to work, but I've had an incredible time. It is beautiful out here. It is so good to come out and spend some time in the country, get outside, be in nature, photograph some amazing animals, do a lot of hiking, and I set all those camera traps out, so I'm gonna be back in two weeks with my dad to pick those up and see what we got. I didn't see as many animals today as yesterday. It's much hotter today, but I did get some great photo of some different birds. So let's check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you soon.